And let me tell you this too as well. You're gonna need some confidence to wear this shirt right here. Okay, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to all my returning clients. Much love and appreciation as always. But if you're new here though, my name is Hayes, veterinarian, sneakerhead, hence the name, the shoe vet. Back again, once again, with my buddy here, sneakers. All right, so if you have a good collection of shoes, what good is that if you have nothing good to wear it with? Now, before I begin, the title is slightly misleading. There's really only one shirt here that's really on the risque side. Uh, we're gonna be building up from more basic up to that though. So I'm not gonna sit here and talk to you about it. Let's go ahead and get into these shirts. All right, so the first shirt right here is one of the most fun brands in my opinion, Comme des Garcons, CDG. So you guys, if you guys aren't familiar with CDG, they typically have a little something wacky about, you know, their outfits, their clothing and everything, whether it be the shoes like the George with the metallic rings or their shirts that have full blown cutouts on them. Now this shirt right here does look pretty Basic. It is a cotton poplin shirt. Really basic looking. It is a fully black shirt made out of just 100% cotton. What's a little, the extra part they have on there, if you look closely at the buttons, hopefully the camera will pick it up. If not, there should be some B-roll showing it. The buttons are kind of iridescent. So it's a little detail, it's not as in your face, but I do like it though. Going over the other details of the shirt, so this collar does have two buttons that does button down. As I mentioned before, these iridescent buttons do run down all the way, almost towards the end of the shirt. You have a left pocket on the chest. The sleeves are also, the cut of the sleeves are a little bit on the shorter side too, as well as you would imagine a short sleeve shirt. Just a little bit though. Um, it feels a little bit tight on me too. I did go true to size for a small, uh, so it's supposed to feel like that because I am a small in pretty much all my shirts, but hey, it is what it is. Down at the bottom, we do have a scallop rounded hem. This can be worn tucked in, but I prefer to wear it untucked. I think it looks a lot better. There's absolutely no branding or anything like that on the back. I don't even think there's any on the buttons now. I think about it. Uh, no, there are no, no, there are, there is no branding on the buttons um, whatsoever. So yeah, this is a pretty, um, you know, universal shirt. I mean, it is a black poplin shirt, so it does go with a lot of different outfits. Um, I kind of just kept it pretty chill for this. I just wanted to show off the shirt uh, in this video. So yeah, I think it is a really nice shirt, but it's a safe bet. There's nothing really too crazy about it. Now, moving up on the risque ladder, these, these next two shirts, the next two shirts in this video are, are gonna be from the same brand collaboration. So it's gonna be between Adidas and Wells Bonner. So let's go ahead, oop, oh, shoot, I'm sorry. Just slapped you in your face, I'm sorry, bro. My bad. All right, so we're gonna go with the first shirt. So I got both of these shirts off of Farfetch. Uh, and yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I've had these shirts for like a couple months now. I'm just now bringing it out, but hey, it is what it is. Better late than never. So I got them both in these nice little dust bags. I don't sh I don't know if they would have came with that if I got it off of Essence or the Wells Bonner site, but hey, I do love the presentation. This first shirt right here is a very delicate knitted shirt. Uh, I mean, it, it, this is delicate. You do not want this to snag. It is really, really thin, really, really delicate, but it feels nice. Oh my goodness, it is, it is a perfect, even though it's knitted, it is the, it is a phenomenal shirt for the summer, especially, and maybe sometime in the fall too as well. Um, I wouldn't wear it in like the heavy cold or anything like that, especially when it gets like deep, deep winter, depending on where you at. But I just think the 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 quality of this knitting is definitely A1. Let's go ahead and jump into the details of this shirt. So overall, this shirt is primarily in like this kind of really light yellow creamy color with some accents of some really, really light, delicate purple, really delicate purple. And I really do like that. It really adds to a lot of the lightness of this shirt from the texture to the color. So moving out with more of the details, you see this rim hem around the neck. You also have a rib hem around the sleeves and you have a rib hem down at the bottom of the shirt too as well. So it does kind of insinuate to your build a little bit. It is, you know, these are expandable. Uh, other details on the shirt, so that really, that, 
So that purple, almost, maybe it's more of like a lavender. I'm still gonna say purple, but the purple stripe that goes across, if you notice it, there's almost kind of two different, there's almost two kind of brandings with that if you look closely enough. So of course you see the trefoil right here. So of course a trefoil, Adidas. But if you notice too as well, this purple comes in three stripes. You have this really skinny one up top, you have the skinny one at the bottom, then you have the fat one in the middle, three stripes, also Adidas. I don't know if they plan it that way, but we're gonna put some tinfoil hat on and say that's what it was. Okay, so moving on to the back of the shirt, you do have some more brandings, Wales Bonner, like I said, this is a collaborative effort shirt. And I mean, the rest, as far as the other details, I mean, there's like maybe two, three different ribbing patterns on here. I think only two, actually, that I'm thinking about. You either have the horizontal lines or you have the downward facing arrows. So yeah, overall though, I think this is a really, really nice shirt. As far as when I would wear it, I think it's a perfect shirt for either a date night or if you're going out to brunch. Yes, bottomless mimosas, let's get lit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just make sure you don't spill anything on us because like I, I, I feel like, <sighs> it's not that just, it's not that this shirt, it's not that the shirt only has like a limited pair of wares. You just have to be really delicate with it. And of course, the more times you wear it, you know, you just kind of increase the chances of something happening, whether it's a stain that you, you know, can't get out because I feel like these colors will stain very, very easily. Or like I mentioned before, if it gets snug on something, like a Beyblade, it's gonna rip. Oh my God, bro, that's... <laughs> Woo, brought that one back. Okay, so that is the second shirt that is review now let's go and now the risqueness now we're at the top this is definitely the shirt and let me tell you this too as well you're gonna need some confidence to wear this shirt right here honestly i had to sit with myself down for a minute and think if i could even pull this off but yeah we're definitely gonna go with it so this is the second shirt from the adidas wells bonner collaboration right here is a v-neck mesh shirt and my god i this is they had to execute this shirt right to pull it off and I think they had knocked it out the park. So it's like, a, it's, it's a mesh shirt. So what's that mean? You're gonna have a little see-through. Now what's kind of weird is when I try this shirt on, I don't, maybe it's just my skin or maybe it's just how the mesh is put, like position or whatever, but it almost seems like there's like a, like a silver sheen underneath it that kind of covers my body a little bit. Like it's not open, open. Like if you go to like Rick Owens, for example, oh, it's open AF all the way, but this one, it's a mesh shirt, but it's still, it's, it's, it's still really tasteful. Not to say that Rick Owens isn't tasteful at all, but you know, Rick Owens like mesh shirts are like super, super aggressive. This one right here though, it's edgy still, but it still has a lot of class to it. Now let's go into the details of the shirt. So this is pretty much made out of just, you know, straightforward, you know, cotton mesh material. Uh, the dominant color is obviously black, so it goes with a lot. Accent wise, you have a cream and then kind of like a, almost like a light burgundy color right here. I love the V-neck. It's honestly my favorite detail of the shirt, this V-neck right here. The collar is elastic too as well. As you can see that kind of elasticity right here. And there also is elastic collars on the end of the sleeve. So what this does too, as I mentioned on the previous shirt, is that it kind of does assimilate to your body. And especially if you've been working out, if you've been keeping up on your new year's resolution and been in that gym, yeah, you, you're definitely gonna turn some heads with this shirt. Uh, it's gonna fit you just right and it's bold. So not only are you looking good, it's also a bold shirt. So you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna turn some heads, you know what I mean? As far as branding goes, you have the Trefor logo on the left chest and then you have Wells Bonner on the back, both are in like a silver color. There's a little tag on the inside. I may or may not cut that off, I don't know. But yeah, overall, this is definitely a shirt that you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to have some confidence, you know what I mean? And I, I, I get it. You know, men in mesh shirt. Yeah, there's that stigma. I don't want to go deep into it, and it's unfortunate. But hey, in fashion, you really it's really all about where you're comfortable with. Um, you know, wear what works for you, and honestly, just don't care. You know, uh, this is most definitely out of my comfort zone. Yeah, it's out of your comfort zone too. I know, I know, it's out of. <laughs> <laughs> we wilding with this one. But this is definitely something out of the box for me. As you guys probably know, I am still trying to find myself in this whole fashion community. I think it works for me. I think I have the body type for it. And if not, I'm in the gym. I just gotta eat more. I gotta eat 3,000 calories a day. Y'all know how hard that is for me? Hard, it's super hard, especially with work and everything. But hey, 
it is what it is. That's gonna be the end of today's video though. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys become a client. How you do that, make sure you guys hit the description button down below. As well as hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified next appointment. Make sure you guys follow us on Instagram. The handle is at drhays91. That'll be posted in the description box down below. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.